New details tonight in the murder investigation of a tourist from New Mexico who was found dead in Waikiki. Police say DNA found on the victim matches the man charged with the crime. Police discovered his identity almost immediately because of evidence found near the crime scene. We have learned more about that evidence and the police investigation. We warn you, some of it may be disturbing. KITV's Dan Meisenzahl has tonight's top story. 31-year-old Aaron Sousa pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder today in Honolulu District Court is being held on a half-million dollars bail. The victim, Brianna Antone, was found naked in the ocean by the Royal Hawaiian Hotel on Friday, October 2nd. According to court documents released today, Antone and her brother met Sousa at the Apple Store at the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center on Thursday night of October 1st. The three of them, along with another man, bought alcohol at a nearby ABC store and went back to Antone's room in the Ohana Waikiki West Hotel. Antone's brother told police that his sister was drinking heavily and started making out with Sousa. He and the other man left to get food at about 1 a.m., and when they returned, Sousa and his sister were gone. The last he heard from her was at 2 a.m. when she called and said she was on, quote, the South Shore. Sousa told investigators that he and Antone had sex on the beach and then in the ocean. He says that when they got back to shore, they got into an argument and that he stormed off, but that she was alive and well when he left. The medical examiner has not given a cause of death yet, but says Antone had a fractured thyroid larynx and bruising on her neck and chest. Two different semen samples were also found on her, and one of them matched Sousa's DNA. Also, a manila envelope was found close to Antone's body with Sousa's mail in it, which is how police linked Sousa to the crime. The envelope also had Antone's slippers inside. Sousa was captured three days later and was treated for a suicide attempt. According to police, he told investigators that he drank and injected Drano. Dan Meisenzahl, KITV4 Island Television News.